Hey guys, it's Queen Nija, and in today's video, I will be reacting to Rain to episode 6 of my cut to one parade. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. <laughs> Coming out a little too much. I wonder how long it's gonna take her to find her sister. <laughs> hmm? I mean, damn it, it just take you just like that. This looks like the first freaking episode for freaking out cut through stars. Well, they were the top idols <laughs> of S4, but not anymore. Well, no, Yuzu would still- No, because Yuzu graduated at the end of season two. Well, uh, to me it counts. And it's so weird to see these girls together again.
Complet. Right. Only Subasa would make her feel worse than she is. But you know what? That's what I love about Subasa. Subasa has that air of oh. Use it. Yeah, but I still think Rockets is going to be here. Yeah. There you go, that's the spirit, so. It might go good. She may mess up a few times, but it'll be okay. <laughs> oh, God, oh, my God. <laughs> oh. Mm 
I miss these more so freaking much. They all look so pretty together again and cute. I mean, well, in a way, it is her fault because they cut two paths and everything. You made it so cute! <laughs> Well, hold on, Rocky knows how to sew. Mm hmm. Alright. <laughs> oh. 
<sighs> Thank goodness. <laughs> no, it's okay. Yeah, so it's okay. Thank goodness. Yeah, 
but sometimes you just gotta slow down and can't always go head first into it. Mm -hmm. Well, now we need to continue looking for your sister. Huh? Basically time to go home. The one thing that I always love about Rocky, she's no matter what, she's always positive and excited about everything in her life. You know, even though, yes, she did ruin the S4 concert, she still did good. She apologized. Everyone was happy. We moved on. The performances were good. I mean, to see S4, and you haven't seen S4 perform since like the end of season one, or re really like episode 50 of overall for, um, I got two stars because I don't really specifically remember when I was doing reactions because I I started doing reactions to I got two stars even though I had watched all of I got two and then half of I got two stars and like the last five episodes of I got two stars for um, season one and that was essentially the last time that we were going to see those four together but there were other moments in like the second half of the show for I got two stars where we did get to see them together and hang out and it was just so sweet but like oh my god it was just uh Seeing best girl he may and best, best girl Yozada. Like, oh, uh, now I'm just waiting for the day when it's like Yozada and Mahiru together because then they can perform their song. And that's one of my personal other favorite songs. And they did so good. But I love the fact that Subasa was teaching her a lesson because, I mean, Rocky, you know, she goes a little head first sometimes and she's a little impatient at times too. But I mean, it's okay. Most <laughs> protagonists are. But she needed to learn a lesson from S4, and I'm glad that she did. And I just need these to interact. I need Hime and Cotton. That'll make me so happy. my god i'm gonna die <laughs> i'm gonna die i'm not ready to see my best girl of all time oh my god and uh, bruh if she performed we're just we're done we're done like i mean literally there's nothing else you need to do if mizuki performs goodbye <laughs> like you know? because if she performs move on now either move on now or precious like oh my god if she did move on now your girl is just gonna be like Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye, world. But finally, after like freaking six episodes in episode seven, we're finally going to see Ichigo and friends. And now it's going to have everybody, essentially. Because Ichigo was the only one who we needed to see, really. I mean, we still have other girls like Eureka, um, Kaede, Mizuki, of course, um, Otome, Sakura, and then like anyone else from Generation 1 or even Generation 2. Plus all the other girls from both um, <laughs> really, any of the other girls and stars, because we've seen everybody and friends, so hopefully, I mean, it does come soon, it's coming, but I mean, like, seriously, I cannot wait to see some of these girls interact, I think, like, what they're possibly doing from episodes 1 through 10, especially, they're going to have Rocky really meet every single girl from each series, except as of technically friends, because I feel like she's met everyone from friends, she's already met the um the twins she's met um honey cat so she's basically done 
Well, no, she got to meet Wakaba. She's got to meet Wakaba, technically, and that's going to still be funny because Wakaba, that's her freaking voice actress. She's got to meet Wakaba, and then she has to meet, um, she's already met Love Me Tear. She needs to meet, uh, da, 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 Hibiki and Alicia. That's the only three people that she really needs to meet as of right now. And then she'll essentially be done with her cut two friends and the people who she's all met. But, I mean... I wonder really what lessons for OGI Katsu, the OGI, uh, the OGI Katsu girls are really going to teach her. Because I feel like every single week she learns something new more about the world of idols and how to be a good idol and what a good idol is supposed to do. So it makes me wonder because of the fact is that I Katsu Stars was in 2012 and it's been such a long behind uh, time. What can Ichigo, Aoi, and Ren Plus, you know, Ichigo's brother, her mom, uh, headmistress Orihime, uh, and, and anybody else who is going to possibly show up. What could they possibly teach her? Because, like I said, I love the lesson on what Tsubasa really taught her in this and will really ask for in general. But putting her as an assistant and to learn that, yeah, it's not only just these girls right here. It's everybody who makes up this entire big concert and performance and venue and everything. It's not just them. And so I love the fact that she finally you know, was able to look at these girls in a different way. And it's like, this is something you don't know. You typically, when you're watching like a concert or everything, you don't get to see that backstage thing. And for her to be able to see that, it's really interesting and stuff. And I do love it. The fact that they've been doing this since like season one, where we get to see the ins and the outs of anything in idols. Cause they're like, in a way they remind me a lot of idol master and how idol master does that. You know, they've been doing that for such a long time where we get to see the backstage and then everything else, and it's really sweet, but yes. Other than that, guys, that is my reaction review towards episode 6 of I Cut to One Parade. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad, and of course, I will see you guys officially all next Saturday, Monday, maybe even Tuesday. Don't know really yet um, for episode 7. Bye, guys.